These lovely little flowers that we're looking at here are the flowers of the Siberian honeysuckle. Whenever we look at the flowers of Siberian honeysuckle, we're going to notice that they resemble the flowers of Japanese honeysuckle. But if we look very, very closely, we can see that there is this one long petal that hangs down underneath all of it. And then we can see the pistils and stamens coming up from the center of it there. And if we look at the back sides of the flowers, we're going to notice that they're somewhat tubular in shape. And then they have these lobes on the petals here. You can see these three or four little lobes on these petals. The flowers are going to vary from white to this yellow color that we can see right here in my hand. I would have shown it on the bush, but the uh, shadows are not really quite working out for me right now today. So there are two different colors of flowers that you're going to be finding on your Siberian honeysuckle. Now, unlike the Japanese honeysuckle, this plant grows in a bush form instead of as a vine form. Some people confuse the two because they just see honeysuckle flowers and they think they're one and the same. They very certainly are not one and the same. Now let's take a quick look at the leaves of the Siberian honeysuckle. Whenever we look at the leaves of the Siberian honeysuckle, we're going to notice that the margins of the leaves are smooth. They come to this very, very fine, almost sharp-like point here at the tip. The leaves are going to be ovate in shape or oval or teardrop shape almost because of this point. Another thing to notice is that the growth form of the leaves are going to be in an opposite pattern instead of an alternating pattern. If we look here, we can see these leaves are growing on opposite sides of each other. Now later in the year, this plant will produce berries. It'll produce perfectly circular berries and those berries will grow on opposite sides of each node almost just like where the leaves are. They'll be right in between the leaf nodes on the main stem. Now right here in front of us is the honeysuckle bush that we were looking at just a second ago. And you can see how big this bush gets. This plant is highly, highly invasive. So it's one that you need to get rid of. Um, this plant was actually brought over in the 1930s to help control ditch erosion, which it does that job very well, but it spreads insanely fast and it's also notorious for killing off native plants. The honeysuckle is also notorious for being a tick habitat. So this thing does support the livelihood of ticks. So that's another good reason to keep an eye out for this plant. The Siberian honeysuckle usually blooms from the beginning of May all the way up until around the middle of June depending on where you live. Here in central Indiana, for example, it usually starts to bloom at the beginning of May and it'll continue to bloom throughout most of the month of May. Now that time is going to be slightly different the further north or south you are, so take that into uh, consideration. Now the Siberian honeysuckle does have quite a few uses and you can use it basically all the same ways that you would use Japanese honeysuckle. So you can use it for aromatherapy. You can also use it to uh, ease the discomfort of sore throats. You can also use it to help get over a cold in combination with other herbs. This is a really, really good plant to know. Um, it's also exceptionally hard to kill. So keep that in mind if you find this plant in your lawn or garden, that it is notoriously difficult to kill. These flowers, on the other hand, make a very, very delicious tea or syrup or even jelly. You can make a really nice flavored jelly out of these flowers. So keep that in mind as well if you're wanting to use this plant. So this is an overall extremely easy plant to identify, especially when it's in flower. I thank all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit of something. If you guys want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.